In this calculation taken from example 3.15, it is a calculation for a single phase AC motor. And the question reads as follows. A 220 volt single phase motor draws 7.5 amperes from the supply. If the motor operates at a power factor of 0.9 lagging, and we've got quite a few questions to answer. Let's first write down the information given. We are given the supply voltage of 240 volts. We have the supply current of uh, 7,5 amperes. And we have the power factor, which is cos theta, and that is equal to 0,9. That's quite a, a good power factor, which means it has high efficiency. Now, if you take a look at our formulas that we'll be using for this calculation, true power, the symbol is P, the formula is VI cos theta, and the unit is watts. Apparent power is S, and the formula is VI, and the unit is volts amps. Reactive power, the symbol is Q, the formula is VI sine theta, and the unit is volts amps reactive. Right, let's take a look at our very first uh, calculation. Right, we need to calculate the phase angle at which the motor is operating. Um, just a reminder that the power factor cos theta is equal to 0.9. So therefore, in order to work out the phase angle, we take cos across. So it becomes cos to the minus 1. And therefore, the phase angle at which our motor is operating is going to be uh, 25 comma 842 degrees and it is lagging most electrical circuits um, is lagging unless it's a capacitor right to calculate the input power of the motor remember for motors we use input power and for generators we use output power so it's going to be the supply voltage multiplied by the supply current times the power factor because it's an ac circuit 240 volts times uh, 7,5 and the power factor is uh, 0,9. Now to simplify our answer, we can leave the answer in kilowatts. So it's going to be 1,62 kilowatts. And that is the actual power consumed in the circuit. Right, to calculate the active and reactive components of uh, current. Now just to show you here, your total current can be represented by two components. The one being the active component and the other being the reactive component. Now, I'll show you a little trick here in the formula. The active component, we use cos theta and the reactive component, we use sine theta. So to calculate the active component, it'll be the total current multiplied by cos theta. And to calculate the reactive component, it is the total current times sine theta. Right, so we substitute the total current is 7,5 amps and the power factor is 0.9. So therefore, the active component will be 6,75 amperes. And to calculate the reactive component, 7,5. And here we substitute the phase angle of uh, 25,842 and therefore the reactive component of the current will be 3,269 amperes. Right, in the next question, uh, we need to calculate the apparent and reactive power for our motor. Now, if you have a look at the formulas right at the bottom over there, you will see that the apparent power, the symbol is S, so that's going to be the supply voltage times the supply current. Now we as customers, we, we pay for apparent power, which consists of both the power used and the power wasted in the form of heat. And uh, the answer we get here for our apparent power is uh, 1,8 kVA. Okay, for the reactive power, this is the power that's wasted in the form of heat. It is the supply voltage times the supply current times sine theta. 240 times uh, 7,5. And here we must substitute the uh, phase angle of uh, 25,842. And our answer will be in volts 
amps reactive. We have a small amount of uh, power wasted in the form of heat. It's only 0.785 volts amps reactive. Right, next question. Express the apparent power of the motor in uh, polar form. Just to remind you, for polar form, it's R and our phase angle. If it's rectangular form, it could be X plus uh, J, Y as an example. So in polar form, for our apparent power, it will be S is equal to 1,8 uh, kVA. Our phase angle, now because it's lagging, it will be minus. So it's going to be minus 25,842 degrees. And the units here is kVA. All right, we're not finished. Last question. By converting polar form in question E above to rectangular form, show the answer you obtained to uh, rectangular form. So the apparent power in rectangular form, if you use your calculator, it's going to be uh, to convert polar form to rectangular form. We end up with 1,62 minus J 0,785. Now the interesting thing is that this part uh, of our equation, or our complex number, is going to be our power, which is the actual power, and this part over here of our complex number is the kVAR, the reactive component of the power. All right, thanks very much for watching this video, guys.